Hi friends, this is Susie, your Candy Crush Guru, here to help you solve the puzzle of level 4,479. And if you find these videos helpful, I'd ask that you consider liking and subscribing. So we have 14 moves to do quite a few different things. 95 jelly needs to be removed. We need to collect 14 licorice and 15 toffee. I don't see any showing back up, so once they're removed, they're gone, which is good. And I've got striped, wrapped dispensers here, which may end up giving me some combos. I don't know how generous they're going to be, though. That's turn one. That's turn two. So now my assumption is on turn three is when we will see a special. Not only a special, but we got two, so we got that combo. And if I can open this area, then I'll have more opportunity to stretch and go to various other places, because all of this is isolated by this cutout here. Oh, that's kind of nice. Let's make a wrapped. I could do a stripe this way. Let's do this. It opens up a bit and maybe changes the board for me. Eh, it's not fantastic. But I made my own striped wrapped combo that didn't actually become a combo. Oh well. <laughs> We're just going to allow this all to kind of jump around. Uh, I said it on the last turn. On the last uh, level that I played, I don't really like these where there's just so much luck involved and not a lot of skill. Yeah, okay, fine, I'll take that. Because we, we don't really have the opportunity to reach into the sides very easily. Now, I will say, though, that sometimes we we think luck is too big a part of it. So 31, 3, and 4. I'm going to focus on how much jelly I still needed. 31. Now let's do this. Let me play it again. But this time I am going to really pay attention to each and every move I have instead of just running through it very quickly. Do I make a stripe? Do I make a wrap? Do I do something different? I'm going to go for the wrapped because I like how it's positioned over here. And I think I'll get my first striped wrapped. Okay, so now I'm going to move over to the left here. I think that's a good option. I'm not going to try to chase those striped wrapped combos anymore. I want them, but I want them to come more organically. So I'm not investing a lot of turns to get it done. Instead, I'm going where I actually have moves. And look at that, I got a color bomb. I would love to take out orange. I cannot take out orange. So I'm going to instead make a stripe. Now I've got a stripe dropped combo, and if this gets struck, it takes out the most prevalent color, which is probably orange, and I'm fine with that. But I'm going to move over just a bit. Again, another stripe dropped combo, and it's going to take out a color and concentrate things down. Although with only three colors on the board, it probably won't stay saturated. All right, I can make a stripe over here, but I've already cleared out this part. I don't have, oh, I do, I have a good move here, and that changes the board. Makes a bit of a change in this section, which I like. Okay, now I'm gonna switch back over to here because I don't have anything good showing up there. Let's make a wrapped. That stripe wasn't very helpful, but the wrap should clear out all of this. And then I can try to use this area to focus on what I can do over here, and then this to focus on what I can do over here. Oh, I could make a striped wrapped right away. I really want something that's going to trigger down here, though. So I'm going to go for this and hope I get a stripe with it. Oh, I did not. I did not. However, I did end up in a much better position than I did that first time where I got frustrated and just kind of made any move possible. So it shows that, yes, luck is involved, but there's also some strategy that can be employed to, to further advance your mission. So now I'm going to pause the recording, come back with a new board. I'll have the microphone turned off until I have something important to share, but I'm going to pay attention to each and every move. See you in a bit.
Okay, so this is looking fairly good here. I really like this. Notice I went for the stripe combo instead of the wrapped combo last time. It's because we've got little bits and pieces way up high that need to be attended to. Attended to. So I do like the color bomb stripe combo over the color bomb wrapped combo for most applications on this particular level. I only have this to get to. I can't get to it directly. I'm going to make this stripe here, try to get this set off, and there we go. That's the good news. The bad news is it did take almost 10 tries, or just about 10 tries, in order for me to get this done. Uh, you know, I knew how to do it. I knew to pay attention, and still it was tough to get the board to cooperate. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to put those below. And as always, thank you so much for watching. Bye-bye.